Okay. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I got a false ban from Destiny. So because of that false ban, I literally had to scrap the rest of my Destiny 2 content that I had planned for you guys. The raid guides, um, all the little videos that I had planned for Destiny 2 in between, um, and like things to get people ready for Lightfall too. Like I, I just scrapped all of that stuff um, because of this ban. And I already submitted my request. I tried to figure out what it was, but I've been playing Destiny for eight years. I've had no reason to cheat or do anything underhanded in Destiny because if I wanted to focus on something, I'd try to be at least decent at it so I wouldn't be carried. Or I tried to make sure I was good and knew my shit. So I don't know where this came from. I don't know why this happened. But, you know, I'm not expecting a fast response from Bungie because they haven't been fast in the past with other people that, that I've seen and know, um, you know, especially around Twitter and like in the Destiny 2 community. Um, so and I'm, I've always said ever since I started Destiny 2 that if I ever lose this count in some strange way, I'm not going back to make a new one. Because there has been so much taken out of the game and put into the game for better or for worse. Like, that I won't be able to get anymore. And that's the kind of stuff that holds sentimental value to me. Everything in my vault, gone. All of my characters that I've had since Destiny 1, gone. All of my emblems that I've had, gone. And I'm not going to sit up here and fucking pay a thousand bucks for a fucking emblem. But, like, that's not the point. The point is that I lost everything. And that account held a lot of weight. That account has eight years of my life. I started playing Destiny when I was 15. I'm 23, almost 24 years old. Like, no, I'm, I'm not going back to Destiny if I don't get that account back. I'm sorry. And like, to all my Destiny folk, I wish you nothing but the best. And I will continue to support you on your grind, whether it's on Twitch, YouTube, you know, you're, you make more content on YouTube or videos, or you're a streamer on YouTube or whatever. I will still support you um, as much as I can. Um, and I, I'll still support Destiny from a distance, but as far as me playing it and starting a brand new account, <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm done. I'm super done. And like, it, it breaks my heart. It, it breaks my heart because I've helped so many people get through so much content. And like, I, I have so many fun moments and memories with the game. Um, and I felt like I had to do this because that game got me through some rough shit moments of depression and um you know back when i had low low self-esteem as a teenager destiny got me through that and destiny really helped me get out of my shell as i got older too so that's also why it holds you know a lot of weight to me in my personal life there there were moments there were moments during the taken king and for a lot of my early destiny playtime where I used to joke about having waffle ass because all I had, I didn't have a gaming chair. I didn't have a super cool mic. I didn't have that when I played destiny. I had to sit on a milk crate. I had to sit on a milk crate and play destiny with half broken PS4 gold headsets held together by duct tape and a, a, a prayer really. So I didn't have all of what I have today when I first started playing destiny and I still committed to helping people back then. I still enjoyed the game for what it was because destiny took me out, took me out of reality for a minute. I'd be sitting on that milk Creek for 10 hours, 15 hours, you know, for day one King's fall and, um, wrath of the machine, all of that. Like this game holds so much weight and I will forever be grateful. The one constant has always been destiny. Destiny's always been the one constant. And like to have that just ripped away from me after being away from the game, that fucking sucks. Because now like I have to, like last night, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> because like my my ritual was taken away from me it was just poof gone 
So, you know, now I have to shift gears away from it. <laughs> and let's look at the positives, though. Like, let's look at the positives. Um, this will allow me to bring you guys more content um, and to play some of your favorite games that you like. And also, it'll give me a chance to really give other games more of a chance. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. I want to stay optimistic about it. I'm, I'm hoping I can love other things just as much as I do Destiny, you know, be, because of this. Um, maybe this might be a good thing for me. I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking about the positives. But, you know, we, we still have tons and tons of work to do. We are not done. We are not done. Uh, thank you guys for all of the support up to this point when it comes to Destiny. But this this is the beginning of a new chapter. So um, I hope you guys stick around and <laughs> stay along for the ride because it's going to get crazy. More characters, more concepts, more content. Uh, we are going to go all out with this. And if we have to move on from Destiny, we will move on, but we'll move forward. So I don't want to keep too much of your time up. Um, I just want to say my thank yous. Um, again, I appreciate you guys. And uh, we're not done. We have a long road. So with that being said, I will see you in the next one.